Those have happened, most of them in old days, but there is at least one recent crash in it took place in Brazil in 1996. It is called the Virginia case in which a alien spacecraft crashed and at least two creatures were captured and offered no resistance to its capture, but they died right after they were captured. And this procedure were taken of, of rescuing the debris of the UFO and capturing the creatures were taken both by the fire department of the city of Virginia with the army personnel of a nearby headquarters. And in the next day, the following day after the capture, we already knew that U.S. intelligence and U.S. military, and well, as well as U.S. doctors were sent by the U.S. consulate in Sao Paulo to the city of Virginia to follow the procedures. The doctors were sent, medical doctors from the United States, to follow what was being done about the creatures because uh, they died and nobody could explain how were their morphology, how they function and we know for a fact because this is a very well documented case that has been investigated for by at least 70 UFO researchers including personal UFO researchers from the United States as Dr. Roger Lear, Dr. James Lerta, and the deceased Dr. John Mack from Harvard University. They've been to Brazil, they confirmed what the UFO researchers from Brazil discovered. And we know for a fact that at least one of those two creatures were taken to the United States by US military. And it was taken in one of the, the, the Buffalo uh, airplanes that serve the U.S. embassies and consulates in South America. When it came back to the United States, it brought back to, to here one of the creatures and part of the object that were that crashed, that were rescued, that were uh, retrieved by the Brazilian military.